thanks again for uh, for coming out to uh, enjoy these uh, beautiful cards that we have here for you uh, today and uh, and this week. Um, before I get started on the triple threat that we have uh, here for you uh, to drive, I kind of want to just give a history or kind of a quick update of where uh, where Challenger is in the marketplace. Um, so 2017 was the second best uh, calendar year retail sales uh, that the Challenger has had since launch, um, and that's launched 1970. Um, and uh, on top of that, uh, it was all 2017 was also the uh, first year that the Challenger outsold the Camaro uh, for retail space. So two big accomplishments for us. We're really excited about that uh, about that last year. Uh, and really, I think that, uh, that there were two big announcements that we made last year that, that helped kind of that momentum on the vehicle. Uh, and both just happened to be world's firsts. Uh, the first is the world's first all-wheel drive muscle car. Um, that is the GTO will drive that hopefully you guys have had an opportunity to drive. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll need to talk about that later. Um, but an exceptional driving car um, with, with the uh, confidence and capability of all-wheel drive. Um, and really what that helped us do is that helped us propel us to the number one muscle car in the Northeast, Great Lakes, and Denver business centers. So we really gained a lot of traction with that and started bringing in some different customers that may not have considered uh, a muscle car before then. Um, and then the other one, obviously, is the, uh, is the Dodge Demon with the world's first uh, wheel stand from the start. Um, that car has, uh, you know, I'm sure you, you're all uh, very aware of that, but that car has kind of elevated itself beyond um, SRT, beyond the brand. It's, um, you know, set its place in, in the history books. Uh, and we're still, you know, still riding the, the wave of that popularity um, in, in that vehicle. So uh, through the first six months of 2018, uh, Challenger sales are up 4% versus 17. Uh, so we're excited about that. And then at the end of May, we actually uh, finished the build out of the 3300 uh, limited run. Um, so, that's kind of where we get to, uh, so now it's time to show you guys what we're working on next. Uh, and that's what you can see here uh, in our total 19 model year lineup. Um, again, before I, before I jump to these, I kind of want to take you over here because while these are fun and these are, these are awesome uh, automobiles, um, you know, we make a challenger for everyone. So uh, we have a couple of updated cars over here. This uh, Indigo Blue vehicle here on the far left, I guess you're far right, um, is the new GT rear wheel drive uh, model for 19 model year. Um, 419, our GT kind of is our performance V6 model. Um, and you'll see that on the Charger and Durango as well. Uh, kind of the performance look with the uh, single scoop hood, the larger splitter on the, uh, on the front there, um, 20 inch wheels and tires, um, uh, updated uh, um, steering and uh, suspension. And inside we put the heavier bolstered uh, seats for better lateral support. So we really wanted to give the V6 customer a little bit more, a little bit more muscle uh, than, than we have in the past. Um, because we know they're a dedicated, dedicated group um, and they, they really like that vehicle. Um, up next in this B5 Blue is our, uh, is our RT model. Still maintains the, uh, the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 uh, with 375 horsepower and 410 foot pounds of torque. Um, you can see it receives the same, uh, the same updates on the exterior with the hood and the splitter, um, larger wheels and tires, uh, performance suspension and uh, steering, as well as those uh, larger seats. So, Really wanted to improve the value equation for our for our customers at uh, kind of at the lower end of our of our lineup. Um, I don't have a base uh, uh, scat back here with me to talk to, uh, but we did add a couple new features for that vehicle uh, standard as well. Uh, we brought down you can see on this white body here the 18 model year Hellcat hood, um, and then on the, from a from a feature standpoint we added standard line lock and standard SRT drive modes and performance pages. Um, we're continuing to add more content to this uh, to the scat back models. It becomes a larger portion of our sales. Uh, and the customers really, really uh, react well to to more options and more standard uh, performance equipment. So um, we wanted to to you know make that a, a better uh, a better vehicle for them. Um, but the big news really on on a scat pack for 19 model year is um, is the two new models that I have here today. Uh, the first one uh, in this beautiful deep purple color uh, that Mark will tell you more about is the Dutch uh, Challenger S R sorry RT Scat Pack uh, 1320. Uh, the 1320 is designed specifically for the grassroots racer. Uh, we've taken all of our technology that we have in-house um, for drag racing and put it on this vehicle pretty much. Uh, even though the name 1320 is uh, the uh, length of feet of a quarter mile. Um, so Jim will take you through more of the details on that, but I mean a standard trans brake, line lock, drag radio, tires that were developed next and specifically for that vehicle and many other features um, that, really, uh, that really make that vehicle stand out. So, um, we're happy that we can do that for the grassroots drag racer um, uh, to follow as a follow up to the to the demon. So now we have the uh, the three cars that you guys are here to drive uh, this week. Um, the first is the uh, Scat Pack Wide Body. 
Um, as you can see, the Peak Familiar uh, fender flares from the 18 model year Hellcat uh, as three and a half inches width. Uh, we filled those with the 20 by 11 inch forged wheels wrapped in 305 Pirelli rubber. Uh, on the scat pack, it also includes six piston front Brembo brakes as well as adaptive damping suspension. Uh, and that suspension and setup is tuned specifically for this vehicle to improve and really make it the best, uh, the best handling vehicle on a road course that we, that we can do. So uh, again, we'll, we'll take you through more of the technical details on that. Uh, as we go to the two new Hellcats here, the, the thing that will probably stand out most to you first is this all-new hood. Um, not only does it look great, uh, it is a functional hood. The passenger side brings air into uh, the engine compartment and the driver's side uh, ducts feeds air directly into the uh, open air box and the cold air intake. Um, for the uh, standard Hellcat, that improves horsepower by 10 uh, and then that gives uh, the ability to get the 797 horsepower out of the SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Um, so when you go back and you look at kind of the history of, uh, of muscle cars and performance cars, it's how do, we, how do we take our biggest engine, our best engine, most power, and then cram it in something new? So we say that you know, the name Red Eye kind of came out of the idea that the demon has possessed the Hellcat. Um, and that's really what we have here. It's very similar uh, powertrain and engine to, uh, to the demon is, but we're really excited to maintain the claim that we have the world's quickest, fastest, and most powerful muscle car, and the Red Eye allows us to do that. So I just really just want to walk you guys quickly through pricing, and then we'll get you guys in these cars and we can get rolling to have some fun. Um, one vehicle to kind of start at the, the base level that we don't have here is the SXT rear wheel drive. Uh, that vehicle starts at 27295. Uh, it's available at rear wheel and all wheel. All wheel drive is a $3,000 option on both the SXT and the GT that we have here. Um, this GT rear wheel drive version starts at 29995. Uh, the RT is at 34100. Uh, a, a base scat pack that we don't have here is 38995. Um, the wide body option is $6,000 on top of that. Um, again, both uh, manual and automatic. Um, the Hellcat is, uh, starts at 50, uh, 58,650. Um, you'll notice that's actually a lower number than it has been in the past. And that's because we, we adjusted the standard condition of that vehicle um, because we really wanted to open up the joys of a Hellcat to as many people as we could. Um, so you'll see for, there's one out at the track, you'll see that we now have the Hellcat standard in cloth interior. Um, and an Alpine uh, six-speaker uh, six uh, premium system. So all of the Laguna leathers and Harman cards are still available, but we really wanted to make this vehicle accessible to more people. So we dropped that price nearly $5,000 versus an 18 model year. So uh, really excited about that. Um, and then the Red Eye is uh, 69650, um, and that includes both the engine and the automatic transmission on that vehicle. So. Um, a nice lineup from 27.2 to almost 70,000. Um, so we can really offer the full range of, uh, of challengers to our customers. Uh, and I think that will continue to help us buck the trend of uh, people switching to UVs and trucks and things like that because there really is a challenger for everyone. Uh, and we're really excited to, uh, to have you guys here to kind of drive the pinnacle of that lineup. So um, let's go have some fun.